What's going on side hustle here today I'm going to teach you guys how to drill a hole in any glass bottle you heard correctly any glass bottle I literally mean any glass bottle if you want to drill a hole in your mom's favorite coffee mug go for if it you want to drill a hole through your dad's car window I don't give a fuck if you want to make a bong out of a liquor bottle I would suggest you pick up an L-STEM kit on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Alright, let's get into it. Before drilling into your mom's favorite coffee mug, aka a 175 of Crown Royal, you want to make sure it's held down very tightly. Getting your bottle held down tightly will make your life a lot easier. For this demonstration, I'm using a clamp. If you don't have a clamp, you can have your friend help you hold it down. If you don't have a friend, that's kind of sad, but you can still use one hand to hold it down. The next thing you're gonna need is a way to lubricate your drill bit. I'm using an empty spray bottle, but you could also use a sink and hold your bottle down in the sink. Oh yeah, and if you don't have a drill bit, I would suggest picking up an L-STEM kit on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. The kit comes with an L-STEM, a drill bit, a bowl and a grommet so it makes your life super easy. If you already have a drill bit and a regular stem, don't drill the hole near the bottom of the bottle. The regular stem is not meant for that. Now that your bottle is held down and lubricated, it's time to start drilling. Start by drilling a notch at an angle. Drill slowly. If you start by drilling straight on with the bottle, the drill bit is just going to spin off and you're going to get nowhere. The notch allows you to get traction on the bottle. As you can see there, that's what the notch should look like in the beginning. Once you have the original notch, you want to try to make the notch bigger by moving the drill bit closer to parallel with the bottom. As you can see, I'm pushing upwards, which increases the, uh, the size of the notch. As you can see here, it's almost a full circle. Once you get a full circle, you should have enough traction on the bottle to go completely upright with one hand. This allows you to lubricate your drill bit with the other hand. As you're drilling, you want to let the drill bit do the work. Don't push down too hard. Pushing down too hard is unnecessary and it will tear up your drill bit. Also, once the glass starts to get thinner, pushing down too hard will crack the back side of the glass. So once the glass gets thin, don't press down as hard. Let the drill bit do the work. I was actually pressing down way too hard here. Don't be an idiot like I am. So there you have it. That's how you drill a hole in any glass bottle. Baby, what you doing tonight? We could watch the world get ruined tonight. Living this life got you flexing, feeling colder than ice. Let it melt as we follow all the stupid.